Starting at Grand Central Terminal, you are the engineer on a peak time service to Stamford. It's the end of a busy day, so the train will be crowded. Make sure you keep to the timetable. Allow all passengers to board here at Grand Central Terminal before starting the service to Stamford. We're in DC mode, correct, correct. Uh, Baked Bean Kid, have a look at my ACS64 tutorial. That will tell you everything you need to know about the signalling system. That's what's stopping you. And it applies to the M8 as well. No, it's not an El Faber scenario, um, BNSF. My mistake. Right, so we're in restricting. We have a 15 mile per hour speed limit. We have flashing green signal up ahead which says we are clear to continue based on cab signalling. So we're limit up to 15 mile per hour, we're okay. Right, we've now been given normal signal aspect which means that we can follow track speed signalling. Look at that. Hey there Gavager, welcome. Come out of the Park Avenue tunnel, you have to blow a 14 L. Alright then. Assuming I know what the Park Avenue tunnel is. <laughs> Got another flashing green light up ahead. Uh, BNSF, I mean, Repo made this loco. Uh, unit, sorry. Repo made this unit. Um, it's not a repo product, but repo made it because, uh, well, he made bits of it and uh, for us. Cheers, that pickup. I presume we're swinging left here. Okay, okay, so I'll carry on going. It's interesting going through all these little tunnels at the beginning. Do I like the schools class? I like the schools, yeah. What's not to like about the schools class? Well, that's a nicely placed signal. Axie got 933 on this scenario, alright then. I'll do my best. I'm already running a minute behind schedule, apparently. Three miles to Harlem, 125th Street. We're still on normal, um, normal aspect. Right, now I've got 60. Have I driven the V200? I don't think I have, you know. Right, 60 limit. 
Tillon unless I get um, told to go slower by the signalling. Uh, Ayrton's, I'd recommend that you look at my ACS 64 tutorial if you've not done anything on New York New Haven before because the uh, signalling is a bit different. Right, drop to Welcome back, spam track. Can't really do a fourteen L with this thing. Right, 1.4 miles to Harlem. Cheers, Chicago Rail fan. We'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Yeah, the horn on this one, Moggy, all I can do is, that's all the horn on this one will do, it won't do any longer or any shorter. Decelerating for 40 and then coming into uh, Harlem. Pulling into Harlem 125th Street now for our first stop. Go look at this one, shall we? Oh, time to go.
Right, 40 limit. We're dropping to 35 shortly. Fordham, 4.7 miles. Got flashing green light in the distance. using the Xbox controller for the uh, camera. That's going a bit fast now for the Xbox controller. Push it back up to 35 just over. Alright, we're going to get up to 40. Another Metro North M8 coming the other way. Cheers, but I missed up. There's the horn. Sixty limit coming up. I've just got the weekend off. Woohoo! Four doing three miles, three and a half miles ish, sixty limits. A 75 limit coming up. Rule 14L is a long is the horn sequence used for um, alerting people to your pre to the train's presence. It is it involves blowing a sequence of long, long, short, long. Used commonly at grade crossings in America, um, but there's also some additional places. 14L sometimes used for entry into tunnels. 14 is all about rule 14 is about horn uh, the usage of the horn 14L is specifically about the uh, alerting so rule 14A I think is two horn blasts when you're getting moving when there's one about one when you're stopping and three when you're going backwards that's all in rule 14 right 75 full power 2.2 miles now to Fordham we're still on normal signal aspect, so this is good. Can't get in the other seat as well. Cheers, Axeek. Thanks for watching. Right, Fordham's coming up with a 65 limit in front of it. We should be going a bit slower than 65 at that point. We're not stopping there. Uh, Mr. Trank, I have no idea about TS rewards. Um, Steve was actually the best person to ask that question. So we're a couple of minutes, uh, or at least one minute ahead of schedule now, so...
Cheers, Motorhead fan. Glad you enjoyed. Minus 23 degrees. Wow. I'm thinking it's cold and we haven't hit zero yet. <laughs> Right, this is Fordham just after the tunnel, or well, just actually in, in half inside the tunnel even. Cheers, CB Trower, thanks for joining. Pulling in here and we'll stop. pull forward a bit longer, we've got plenty of time. Hey there Katie, how are you getting on with the tablet? stations to stop at. Hey Jamie, welcome. I'm good, thanks. Oh, you don't collect it till tomorrow. Fair enough. Speed limit 65 as we leave here. Mount Vernon, five miles. Does that put us. Yeah, then Pelham. So it's between Mount Vernon and Pelham, I think, the power changeover. Gouger has daughter getting on with the Windows tablet. Oh, she's over the moon with it. Loves it. All of the little art programs, or well, the art producer uses Paint.net to draw pictures of her little uh, pictures. She does. She's very good, actually. Um, and she's finding it so much nicer to use the touch screen. And she never really got on with any of the little art programs that were on the tablet, on the like Android tablets. But the fact she can use the art program she's used to just make her makes her very happy. Same for me. I like all the. All, I'm able to use all the stuff that I like. All the normal apps. It's brilliant. It blows my mind that they got it into a tablet. Yeah, 89 quid for a 10 inch Windows tablet. It's incredible. I mean, the normal price is 139 quid. Still not that bad at all. Yes, it is the Pelham from Pelham 123. Fake bean kid. So next station is Mount Vernon, 3.8 miles. Do not want to overspeed. Yeah, Pelham 123, I enjoyed Pelham 123 as well. Accelerating to 70. 
make the most of it before we have to drop to the 60 again. Amtrak Master, I've got no idea what the plan is for advanced previews at the moment. Back down to the 60 again. A bit early, but... 2.3 miles now to Mount Vernon. One thing I quite like about the signalling on this route is you don't have to gaze into the distance to see what signals are coming up. You just drive along and then you'll get an alarm telling you when to slow down. It's very cool. Once you get the hang of it. Why am I doing advanced previews DLC when I'm working with next gen? Because I'm the one. I'm, I'm the streaming person. <laughs> I think I'm the only one brave enough to go online and um, run the game for in front of people live. Everybody else, all the big talk, they're all a bit chicken, I think. <laughs> Right, Mount Vernon coming up very shortly. Gantries are overhead, so wires should appear very shortly. We've got 30 seconds in the bank. Howie, I'm glad your uh, your lad's enjoying the videos. That's really good to hear. What's his favourite train? BNSF, that would not surprise me at all. The BR-266 is a uh, an American loco, originally. Am I used to being a public figure? I don't see myself as a public figure, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so I don't find it daunting. If someone convinces me I'm a public figure, I'm a figure I might suddenly start being daunted. <laughs> He loves the class 395. All right then. I will see if I can get a 395 on on Monday then. Let me make a note of that. Made a note. We'll do that on. Uh, we'll do that on Monday. Right after Mount Vernon East. Da 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 da. I know how to do that. Just got to wait for. The, oh, there's the pantographs up there. All the over, oh, overhead line equipment.
There's the OHLE. We've got a joint section where we've got both of them. Cut the power. Turn off the energy. Turn on the energy. We're on pantograph up. We're now on pantographs. I don't know why the cab has decided to light up. Oh, there we go. 60 limit. Oh, there's a train overtaking us. That's not good. Come back. We're not allowed to overtake me. remember that he's not stopping and I am, shall we, before we get into too much of a race? Nice little side-by-side -side action. Always good. Got plenty of time actually. <laughs> Two minutes early. Simon, submit it. I'll take a look. Apparently he is getting stopped anyway. Oh no, he's going again. Now the brakes on this, Touchwood, so far have been excellent. We've still got a flashing green light, so we're okay to continue out of the station. Uh, Jeff, we've already switched power, actually. We're already running on the pantographs. You can see they're already raised. I did it on the fly. You just use this control box down here, so that turns your energy on and off, and then this chooses third rail, pantograph up or pantograph down, essentially. So energy off, change the power mode, energy on, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Very easy. And then the other thing is you can check then that either the AC or the DC light uh, comes on on the screen over here. You turn your energy off, do you need another cup of tea to turn it back on? Absolutely. <laughs> can't you just press Y? I can't remember. You can just take the pantograph down and put the pantograph... You do press the P key twice, that'll do it as well. Uh, pump car. Um, it's got different names. Pump car, hand car, Gandhi dancer, believe it or not, I think is another way. That's what... Although a Gandhi dancer I thought was actually the, the workers. But um, Backman called their pump car a Gandhi dancer. G A N D Y dancer. But usually, if you look for pump car, hand car, pump cart, Gandhi dancer, one of those, you'll you'll uh, you'll get what you're looking for. Gandhi, dandy prancer. I've never heard that before. Gandhi, dan Gandhi dancer is what I've heard before. And certainly it's on the box of the. If you buy the like, double O gauge, um, um, one from Backman's got Gandhi dancer written on the box. 
Right, 60 miles an hour, New Rochelle. So this is where we join the uh, the main line of the Northeast Corridor. Right, we've just been given a 45 reduction. That's fine. I guess we're crossing over. limited aspect now with a 45 mile per hour signal speed limit doesn't matter what the speed down it actually is we'll find out what the next reduction is this may drop us to a medium nope we're back up to a normal so we, oh, we've got 30 limit as we come around the corner One option, um, Freddy Fazbear, for um, obviously a FNAF fan. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the follow, Freddy. Um, one option for finding um, those scenarios is um, have a look at the ones I've got. I've got all of my tutor, all of the ones I've played on a tr on a playlist on YouTube, and you should find the names of them. And you can just search for those names if you want to, and then you can find them. I normally search for words like rail fan, rail space fan, train spotting, train space spotting, all those kinds of um, phrases. 30 limit as we come through the junction, so we're on, we're, we're coming on to the northeast corridor here, and into New Rochelle, which is our next station, and then we'll proceed up the new uh, the northeast corridor towards uh, Stamford. About five minutes early into this station, correct? Cheers, Tyron One. Thanks for joining. This is the slowest part of the Northeast Corridor, I think, I'm Trackmaster, because the um, and the the trains the Acela isn't allowed to use its tilt functionality either, because the the uh, tracks are too close together for it. So you have to isolate tilt when you're coming through this section. New Rochelle, Larchmont, Mamaronek, Harrison, Rye, Port Chester, Greenwich, Coscob, Riverside, Old Greenwich and Stamford. So we've still got loads of stops to do. Yeah, my son's really into FNAF as well, Freddy. Not my kind of game, but he loves it. Seems to have taken a liking to that sort of game. No, no Nebworth. <laughs> Maybe a new Nebworth, you never know. I really like these. Effectively they're two car multiple units that are then just uh, coupled together. 
to create the uh, 2468 units. There might well be a Nebworth in the US. I mean, most places have got a counterpart in the US. What makes me giggle is how they're so completely different. Like Boston is a teeny little village in the UK and a massive capital of Massachusetts in America. <laughs> you mean Elberon then, Ed? <laughs> Oh, excellent ends. That's good. Made the uh, walls on your horse racing track higher and down the mine shaft. Excellent. Maybe we can have a sensible race next time then. Thanks, Simon. I'm Chet Lover. What do you mean, what happened? been to Boston. My, f my wife um, hails from Massachusetts so we went back there to see her mum and uh, that was a long time ago now. Science Museum is amazing. That's interesting Freddie. What happened on the race? Well, because the, the the fence was only one block high and the horse can jump over one block high, people just people were uh, basically just cutting their own uh, by jumping over the fences and um, taking shortcuts and things. You completed the stop at New Rochelle. You'll be stopping at every station between here and Stamford, where another driver will take over. Thirty limit at the moment, going up to forty-five. Next station is Larchmont in two miles. ACS sixty-four in the other direction. Now, I'm quite fortunate. My wife's dad lives in Tennessee, used to live in Florida, and uh, Tennessee's awesome. I didn't really know what to expect from Tennessee, but I really enjoyed it in there. Nah, not at all, Freddy. Not at all, Freddy. Coming up the 50. Almost. Almost. 7Z Right, slowing down now. 
coming into Larchmont, track four. Yeah, Ed, it's got it's it's sort of more akin to um, almost to German trains. It's got it's got blended braking. Got early here as well. Another ACS sixty four. ACS stands for Amtrak Cities Sprinter. Based on the Euro Sprinter trains. Does it not have triple valves? Um, I, th I think it's got triple valves. You can't do partial release and things like that, but it does have a uh, 150 pound brake pipe. No, blend, blended braking, Simon, is is where you use combination of electric brakes and air brakes. Right. We're still on normal. No, it's not the combined throttle brake, it, which is a combined throttle brake, but blended braking is where when you apply the brakes it, it applies some air and some uh, dynamic. Uh, no, it isn't actually, it's a, it's a, sorry, it isn't a, it isn't a combined handle, it's a um, separate handle. It's just, yeah, it's a separate handle, so the train brake is... Oh no, on this train it is a separate, a single handle. It's just being operated as two separate on mine. Ohio to Chicago, Freddie, nice. Mamar the tip. Mamarinek. Cheers, that picker. Oh, nearly over speeding. Due in in about 20 seconds. This is a slightly more tight stop. CSX headquarters. Whereabouts is that, Lego? Is that the one in Richmond? Or in... Is it Cumberland? No, that's just a big yard. It's a big depot. I can't remember where Richmond is the headquarters or just another giant yard. Shouldn't have to wait too long. Jacksonville. Oh, okay.
Next station is Harrison, track four. In 1.7 miles. Hey JW, welcome back. Right, reducing to 70 in uh, three quarters of a mile. Accelerate up over 70 and then come back down again. We can get ahead of the curve a bit. Forty seconds for Harrison. Timings on this section are certainly a bit tighter. At least the signalling is being friendly. Got Twenty seconds to come into this station. We're halfway through the score, we got 500. Still got, <laughs> still got loads to go. This is Harrison, uh, Rye is next. Seventy limit. Got a fifty coming up at three quarters of a mile. Half a mile to the fifty. For a speeding penalty there. Right, we're coming up to Rye now. I wonder what they like to make the sandwiches out of here.
Alright, just coming around into Rye now. When we get to the station, ride car, I'll show you the outside. I'm trying to uh, get as close to a perfect score as I can on this scenario, so... Rolling into Rye now, get all the way train in, and then we can stop. And we're early! You got 996, Jeff. Don't know if I shall beat 996. I can't remember. I don't think I've got any penalties or uh, reductions so far, but we shall see. Over 900 is uh, is a goal. Freddie, yes, I work for uh, Dovetail Games. People who make Train Simulator. Uh, ride car is made by Kawasaki, um, so it is a Japanese train. Port Chester, 1.3 miles. Fifty mile an hour limit for the time being, but we are bumping up to seventy. Uh, Ayrton's, I will show you a map of the route once we get to the next station. You were just trying to put me off, aren't you? Uh, Budge, the uh, the Google Map, that's an application that I wrote myself, but if you uh, wait for the cycle on the chat, unless someone can make it happen again, um, the um, there is someone else uh, that has, uh, has built their own version. It's dead easy to make it work. Right, so we've got about 48 seconds to get stopped at Port Chester. Yeah, the one on that link for HaywardStudios.co.uk isn't the tool I'm using, but it does the same job. Unfortunately, I can't give out the tool I'm using. Doors open. Right, let's have a look at the map. So, uh, this is Penn Station and this is the Northeast Corridor. This is Grand Central Terminal and this is the Metro North line that then comes across. This is New Rochelle where we joined the uh, Metro North, the, the Northeast Corridor. This goes up, this is New Canaan. Um, and then I think that's the Danbury, start of the Danbury. Oh no, that's the Danbury branch up there, it does not complete. And it carries on all the way up to New Haven there. Greenwich. We've made it all the way to the UK. <laughs> Two and a half miles. We're in a 
45 limit. Let's not go crazy here. Making a tutorial of what to rate what to run trains on. Um, the basics are pretty easy, but actually making a realistic route is incredibly difficult, actually. And it's not something I'm particularly good at. I might see if I can do a, a, a basic introduction to just how you make something work. Do the motors sound different on a DC and AC? Yes, they do. Same as they do on the Javelin. Seventy limit. push it over the limit into that uh, just in that 0 point uh, that 0.1 mile an hour or the 0.9 miles now we have flexibility make a full map in the air the problem is like I said I'm I'm really not good at making routes so it would just be a uh, a comedic show to be honest does it perform different? I honestly don't know. I want to say actually yes, I think it does, but I don't know. Right, 1812 is when we're due in here. Q Chaskovsky. Uh, Freddy Fazbear, Google Earth is actually already fully integrated into the game. If you, I've got another tutorial I did on YouTube, and it will, um, if you uh, use, uh, he's probably using the, um, I can't remember the name of it now at all that Nobkins wrote that lets you import the satellite images, but that's already actually built into the game. It was added in in 2014, I think it was. So if you set it up, there's got a video which shows you how to do it, and then you just press Control G, and it just displays Google Earth on top of whatever you're doing. It's very cool. I don't know what the pro the uh, policy is for stopping where you stop at the station, Z, or if there even is one. You probably find actually they're in t they're supposed to stop at the end of the platform in each case. R W Decal, that's it, Ed. 50 limit now. Thanks for the subscription, uh, Amtrak Master. Oh, I know how to use the Google Earth stuff, and uh, it's not so much the placement of the scenery, it's getting the track right. Getting the gradients right, getting it all feeling correct. Again, placing the track um, so that it's all in the right places is dead easy, you just trace over the Google Earth. But uh, getting the gradients right is, uh, is tricky, getting the easements correct. Once you get the hang of it, it's not hard, I just um, I need to spend some time with the root authors at work and learn how they do it. Cos Cobb is next station. Uh, 
Yes, RW Deco does allow you to bring in older images, definitely. Or even hand-drawn or scanned images. About 30 seconds to come into this station. All of a sudden the braking stopped working. Oh, this is nice, doesn't matter, it can't fit in this station anyway. <laughs> That wasn't a mini Nebworth, it's barely a coach out the platform. There you go, look, it's only about half, three quarters or two thirds of a coach out. That's definitely not it. You try a lot harder to get a mini Nebworth. Even a mini Nebworth. Hemi Demi Semi Mini Nebworth. Go on then, I'll give you that, I guess. Micro Nebworth. <laughs> Nebworth that siding at Kings, I did, didn't I? Like I said, I was setting the fish free. Fifty limits. Loads of time here, we're not due in for another minute and a bit. Uh, I don't make the stuff ready, I'm actually looking after the uh, development of the uh, the next gen train sim. Not a too shabby stop. Uh, Katie, in my experience, what people have done that want to do that is they'll import, ra they'll just pick some random dem, import it, and then build a route around it. Pick somewhere with interesting terrain, and then, uh, yeah, just pick random in from input. The, there's no name yet given to it, Stargate King. It's time for tea. No, I'll be weeing all night. How are we looking now? Oh, look at this. Three stops. Riverside, which is this one. Then Greenwich and Stamford. So we're only two and a half miles away now. Just under three miles. TS Spectrum 48K Tape Edition there. With Hyperloader. I've no idea where you got that rumour from, JW Plotman. <laughs> Definitely not from uh, Dovetail. Right, 70 limit for old Greenwich. I 
Yeah, the Nebworth edition should have um, London to Peterborough, North Jersey coastline, and um, Liverpool Manchester on it. That should be the three routes in. Train simulated Nebworth edition. <laughs> Really, Bloodman? Who was it on the fishing team? Was it on one of the streams? Stargate King? I can't talk about next gen, I'm afraid. News will come at appropriate time. Right, we're coming in here nice and early as well. Keystone Line has the original 100-year-old catenary at Powley from the PRR. Nice. Met one of them at Eurogamer. Oh, right, okay. Well, that's interesting, Budge. Doesn't seem to affect the scenario because uh, I've just played part one. Right, final station. 1.74 miles, due in in about two and a bit minutes. Freddy Fazbear, I stream Train Simulator Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and I stream Minecraft uh, with my kids on a Wednesday. If you go to twitch.tv forward slash down the mineshaft, um, then uh, you'll find about it. We've got a 45 limit coming up. Dave, uh, both. Uh, there's quite a lot of um, anglers on the fishing team now. Some of whom have become anglers through working on the product. Um, Oh, it's 45 limit, okay. Um, and um, there's also a number of other um, developers who, uh, a number of people externally who work on it. So the Corda, for example, um, do a lot of consulting. They also spoke to um, somebody who is like a leading expert on the way carp, uh, in like carp behavior. Um, and that was how they set up, they, they figured out how to set all the AI up for the uh, carp. So yeah, they get a heck of a lot of input from uh, anglers, as well as being anglers themselves. Right, coming into Stamford, it's the final stop for this journey. This one might be a hair late. I might have to come in a little bit faster on this one. Do I fish? No. I've never been interested in fishing at all. I was sceptical when um, they said they were going to do a fishing game, but I've been proven wrong because it's really good fun. Now, the only fishing I do is for compliments. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey James. Right then folks, what are we gonna get for a score? One thousand! Yes! Perfect run! That is what I like to see. Gimme that gold. Gimme, 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 gimme that gold. Oh yes. <sighs> nice. I can live with that. And we got a Metronorth M8 veteran engineer. Excellent. <laughs> oh, poor Ed. Oh, these stories are getting easier. <laughs> Is there much competition with the free steam fishing game? They kind of do slightly different things even though they're doing fishing because of the way they do it. Um, the, um, the f so dovetail fishing is all about the physics of the rod so you're properly controlling the rod and when you release it all the casting, it's all done, it's all really, it's based on realistic physics uh, which makes it quite hard uh, until you get the hang of it just like the real thing whereas a lot of the other fishing games you tend to just press buttons to cast and you just sort of point where you want it to be, click a button and it'll cast it there for you um, so that's one of the reasons I really like dovetail fishing because you just feel like you're actually you know, casting the line out. It's really good. Anyway, that's enough from me. Um, if you haven't got fishing, I certainly recommend it. I think it's 50% off at the moment, so it's, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very good. It's well worth it. Right, I'm finished now. Thanks for watching, folks. Does it have any competition for Manor Crossing? No, it doesn't really. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, folks. I will see you all on Monday at 9.30. Thanks very much. Have a